The Audubon Girls 4x800 relay joining us here down here at the state track meet, just taking second in their section here a few moments ago. And we're going to start off with Ruby Johnson, who started the run today. Ruby, how did you feel out there today? Oh, I felt pretty good. You know, there were, usually there's a group that gets like really far ahead of me, but I was in there in the top three or four. And I knew the girl from Underwood, she has always a really good kick. So I knew to stay with her. And I got in front of her a little bit, and that's what Coach said to do, and she passed me at the end, but she kept my pace, and I felt pretty good. Uh, I dropped my time, so yeah. Why was the game plan to try and get out in front of her today? Um, was it to up the tempo a little? Yeah, up the tempo, and Diamond always says, I, you know, I don't ever really have a kick, so as long as I get out there, use my energy, instead of stay behind and not, and not use that energy. Anyway. So I just made it go faster, scare a little people maybe a little more, and just try to give it all my How'd you feel on that 200? Pretty good? The last 200? Yeah, I like, North I mean, I, I died, but not as bad as usual. So I felt like I kicked it in a little bit, but I could always go faster, so. Well, Ruby, congratulations. Thank Great you. run out of you today. Let's talk now with Miranda Nelson. Miranda, you ran the second leg today. An outstanding run out of you. How did you feel like it went? I feel like that was one of my best 800s of the year. Um, I was just going to stick with that girl in front of me. And she was a ways ahead, but I, didn't know if I could beat her or not, but I guess I was, the thing running through my head the whole time was something Steve Prefontaine said, and that's the only good race is a suicide pace, and today looks like a good day to die. So I was, I started gaining on her in the back half, and I just knew Megan would do her best to stay with her, and Kira too, and I was just feeling very confident by the time I finished that we were going to have a good day. What was your thoughts as you were watching the last two legs today? I was thinking, go, 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 go. <laughs> um, got a little scared at one point, but I knew <laughs> that girl was, and once that girl passed Megan, I was just like, Megan, go. <laughs> but I knew she would, and we, we all had a really good race today, and Kira's last 100 was amazing. She and I was just like, I, I, she got to the 100, and I'm like, I know you can do it, Kira. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miranda, great job today. Appreciate you joining us. Good job. Let's talk now with Megan Dice, and Megan ran the third leg today. Megan, you said to me right after the race that it, it, you're feeling stronger now as you come back from surgery. How'd you feel out there today? I felt great. My first lap was, um, I felt awesome. I hit the second lap, and um, since I haven't been doing that much mileage, I haven't had that to support me, um, back me up, but I slowed down a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is, and have to keep working, I guess. What was, what was the pace you were looking to set for yourself today? I would, I haven't, um, saw what my coach, um, had my time as, but I wanted to get it around 238. I was running around 240, 242. So, we'll see what he said, but we did cut 13 seconds off our time, so we, we all ran the race of our lives, so it went out, it, it was great. What's it feel like to be back down here again? It feels awesome. The, the crowd and the adrenaline is just so supportive, and, you know, running with a great crowd, it just makes it so much better. Well, Megan, I appreciate you joining us. Great job out of you today. Welcome back as well to track. Let's talk now with Kiara Sporer, who ran that last leg. And Kiara, talk about the run today. How'd you feel on the first lap? You had some girls kind of pushing you at that point. Yeah, when I have girls right behind me, I tend to push myself a little faster. When I got to the 200 mark, I was running about at 35, so I kind of slowed it down. But other than that, it felt amazing. Talk about the second lap. We'll, we'll get to that final 100 in a moment. But what was the game plan on that second lap? Uh, to pass the girl in front of me. I wanted to gain up on Underwood a little bit, fly to the ways ahead. And then when I got to the last 200, some girls trapped me in. And I was getting a little worried. But then once we got around the curve, I got out. And so then I just kicked it from there. The other girl said you always have that kick at the end. Did you feel like you had it today? Yes. Today is about the best time I think I've ran. That one really got me. Any nerves for you coming down here? Yeah, it's. I just didn't know what to feel. I was getting sick right before our race. But once we got started, I started to feel a little better. So it wasn't yes, too sir. bad. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Outstanding run out of you. We'll find out here in a moment where you girls finish all together. All four of you want to thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.